Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about how to import or how to use SMTP that is a simple mail transfer protocol with python to send emails for somebody uh, using your mail uh, a predetermined pre email I would say predetermined email see if a company is there you want to send email to many people you can use this uh, not uh, government to go into log into website log into things everything so companies uh, predefined mails can be sent to this so in this video we are going to see about how to do like that so I'm going to open Shield Studio. In this Shield Studio, I have created a folder working like MailPy, named MailPy. I'm going to create a new file uh, named say MailPy.py, MailPy.py. So I'm going to enter, hit enter. So see MailPy.py came here. So what we are going to do is we are going to import SM TP library SMTP library. So we're going to use SMTP library and we have imported it. Just one thing we need to import now. So what we are going to uh, import uh, next thing what you are going to do is we are going to give the user who is sending the mail and password of him. So mail user I'm going to give my mail here. I'm going to give my mail here so ng email. 216 at gmail.com if you have any doubts you can contact me through this in the next time we are going to give gmail password gmail underscore password so i'm going to say my password 9345845 so the plus password will be blurred in the editing so you can see through it so in the next line we are going to give sent from we are going to give the from address sent from is equal to gmail underscore user and two we are going to give the recipient address so we are going to create a we are going to create a list so I'm going to send to send mail to myself for checking and give gmail.com and comma you can add more so I'm going to send it to another myself so saig2216 at gmail.com in the next line what I'm going to do is I'm going to give subject of the mail so subject equal to I am going to say hello the next line what I am going to do is I am going to give the body of mail body body is equal to you can have multi link string also but I am going to give subscribe to g1 monsters so subscribe to G1 Tech Monsters that is the that is the body of the letter so in the next one I am going to say email underscore text which text so it should be a multi link so I am going to give a slash and give enter so the new line we are going to take and here from call and space percentage s in the next line to call and space percentage s and here subject call and space percentage s and give some space give one gap space and give percentages so uh, after this uh, 
give a space and get percentage and give a space open bracket send underscore from the first person and next one is give a string give a string and give comma dot join inside bracket 2 next one is comma subject and comma body and then under that what we are going to do is we are going to make it try smtp underscore server equal to smtp library dot fully caps smtp underscore ssl open bracket and what we are going to do is open a string and say smtp dot gmail dot com because we are going to use gmail and give a comma and give port number 465 the next line we are going to specify smtp underscore server dot phlo the next line we are going to log in one thing log in our uh, from mail so smtp underscore server dot login inside the bracket what we are going to do is we are going to specify the mail id and password so uh, the vari variable we created so gmail underscore user comma gmail underscore password in the next video we are going to send the mail so smtp underscore server dot send mail open bracket inside here we are going to see send from comma to comma email text underscore text In the next time we are going to close the server because the work is done smtp underscore server dot close and uh, we want the confirmation right so print email send and we are going to specify now accept so if any error comes what it should display it should display accept exception as yes is x exception as x so in the next line we are going to say print open bracket something wrong and comma t x because the variable here will say the error which error had so the code has completed first we are importing first we are importing smtp library and we are giving the user id password and we are we are we are here specifying the sent from gmail user to and the subject and body here we are going we are specifying email text here we are specifying uh, sent from join to the things and here we are going to try it try the smtp server to uh, ssl correctly for gmail.com and a hello and login and send me and close if it is completed correctly it, it will print email sent or if any exception comes it will print something wrong and the error name so the main thing i am here to say is when you are using smtp library extension first you need to specify the 
so the thing what we need is my account dot view dot com slash less secure apps if you go to this uh, url if you are using two step verification you can't able to open it if you don't have two step verification you can it will be off like this but if you turn on because that will allow the SMTP library to work so after turning on it has said updated so you can close this window now we will try to run it so what it will send it will send to my mail and my other mail hello subscribe to given technologies if any error comes it will print as exception so first we will run it Run it python space mail dot py. See the uh, output came email sent. So done. As you can see, the mail had come to this mail, and the other mail also. Mail had come. Let's wait and see what mail had come. So you can see the from my letter sends even at 226.gmail.com and the subject came correctly. I think you should not give a temptation here. So that is the problem for our project. Let's remove the indentation and try once again. So let's run it again. You can see what coming. Python space mail five. Mail five dot five. So email same. Let's check it once again if the email come correctly or not. Refresh. So as you can see, it had come correctly now. So in this uh, triple quotes, you should not give indentation. If you give indentation, it will become a error now. So as you can see in this total, it's saying ng one two twenty six at gmail dot com. My uh, subject is hello and subscribe to Given Technology. In my other mail also, in my other mail, let's check. So me to me, so, so that is my mail to my mail, and the subject is hello, and the thing which sent is subscribe to Given Technology. So as the mail says, subscribe to Given Technology, and let's end this video.